I was taught elections are where a majority selects an individual to manage the situations of law, order, and finances that occur in a jurisdiction. I also thought that campaigns were designed to vet the candidate's skills and business experience for making decisions that provide security, infrastructure, and due process so citizens can experience life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. If this is true, then why does the liberal media constantly advocate compromising our way of life, our liberty, and the pursuit of that happiness? Why is every decision questioned with outlandish hypotheticals? Why is every nuance exploited and recharacterized with ridiculous logic? Why is every report made to sound like the sky is falling? When did these non-elected experts start thinking they could demand our elected representatives follow every bit of their advice? Why do these career bureaucrats with little real-world experience think their narrow-minded decisions must also always be followed at the expense of the country's economy? This is all the results of political correctness and the irrational logic of socialism that is taught in our schools. This is the demands of these unelected bureaucrats that are scaring us into believing the false choice of lives versus the economy. This is the modus of operandi for political politics of fear that is destroying the country. It is also the result of the intolerance of the political elite. We do have free speech. We have the right to work, and we have the right to bear arms. But if you say something or carry a gun, they seem to prefer shooting an unarmed messenger. They demand civility when anyone offends them, but level insults and threats if you disagree. We have 26 million people out of work. Pa this pandemic has caused 50,000 people to die tragically, prematurely. It, is, it makes little sense to deny 500 citizens the right to work like a penance, for each one of these pandemic deaths. How many more should be become unemployed next year with next year's flu season, or if we should lose another 50,000 people in traffic accidents because everyone is working again? Social distance yourself if you feel vulnerable, but let the rest of us get back to work. This is Keith Kuby wishing you the best in making the world a better place.